to unblock Netflix on your Amazon Fire Stick, it's actually very simple. So to do this, we need to trick the streaming service into thinking we are viewing from another country so we can access that country's content. And to do this, we need to use a VPN, also known as a virtual private network. So to get a VPN on our Fire Stick, the first thing we need to do is scroll all the way across to our app drawer, and then you want to scroll down and click on the application store. The Fire Stick application store will look like this. So we need to go across to the left to the search panel and then you want to click on the search bar and here we just need to search for our VPN. The VPN I recommend using is called Private Internet Access VPN and you can also get it with the link in the description of this video. So once you've searched for Private Internet Access VPN it should be the first result and it will look like this. So you want to go ahead and open up the Private Internet Access page and here it will tell you more about it. All you need to do now is click on the install button in the middle of the screen and once you've installed it you want to go ahead and open it up. Once the application is open, it will look like this. All we need to do now is click on the login button and you want to sign in with your private instant access account. Because you're watching this video, I assume you don't have one, so you need to click on the link in the description of this video where you can go ahead and quickly register for a private instant access account. Once you've done that, you want to come back here and you want to enter your details and sign in. So once you are logged in, the VPN application will look like this. So all we need to do now is select a VPN server from anywhere around the world that we want to view the content from. So if you want to watch US Netflix, for example, you want to select a US server. So that's what we're going to do right now. So here are the US servers and there are many of them. So which one do you pick? Well, you want to pick the server with the lowest number below it. So the lowest number for me is US Vermont at 177 milliseconds. The lower the number, the less latency you're going to get and the better performance you're going to have. So you want to click on the server and after a few seconds, it's going to connect. Once you are connected, you are now browsing the internet as if you are viewing it from that country, in this case the US. So all we need to do now is to exit out of our VPN application, and you want to go ahead and open up your streaming service of choice, in this case we're going to use Netflix. So when you open Netflix, you will notice you are still viewing the content from the current country you are in. That's because we need to restart the application to get it to recognise the new country. So to do this, you want to go to the left hand side menu, and you want to scroll all the way down and click on the get help menu. As you can see where it says country slash language, it says GB and that's because I'm currently in Great Britain. However, we want to update it to United States, so you want to scroll all the way down to where it says Reload Netflix and you want to click on that. So once you've restarted Netflix, you'll notice that the content has been updated to the country you have chosen. And to prove this, you want to go back to the Get Help menu. And as you can see where it says country slash language, it now says US because that's the server we chose on our VPN. So we can go back to the Netflix application and we can start watching movies and shows just as we normally would. And that's it, so remember to use the link in the description to register for private internet access VPN. So if this video is helpful please leave a like and pass on to someone who may find it helpful as well and if you have any questions or comments you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.